Well, good Friday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course. My buddy's right here, Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm noticing that either I've gotten white paint in my hair or I'm beginning to get like a frosting, like right here, just like one spot. That's that, or, excuse me. I, I'm, it's backwards, right, right here. I'm getting like a frosting right there of white. You notice that? That's kind of cray cray. I got it white here. I got it all white, and then it's like boom, one spot. Anyway, sorry. I, it's I'm sitting here looking at the screen and I see myself and stuff, and it's because I don't usually look in the mirror because the mirror always cracks when I look into it. So I got a real question for you, for all you guys that are out there, out there in Cowboys land and that just want to take anybody over one Dak Prescott, okay? One Dak Prescott. And so the question is, as you look at Dak Prescott, who is trying to get paid again, okay, he's trying to get paid again, should the Cowboys... Or, or would you – let me rephrase this. Let me make sure I get this right. Would you rather have Jalen Hurts over Dak Prescott? Now, I already know what Dan Salio is going to say about that one. And I know what Philly 500 is going to say. Dan Salio would say, hell yes, I would take Dak Prescott over Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I'd take him over. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. He's got Dak as a top five, and he's got Jalen Hurts, um, I believe, at 15. Philly 500 would say, hell no, I don't want anything Dak Prescott or Dallas Cowboys except for Micah Parsons, okay? But would you, if you could just take Jalen Hurts over Dak Prescott, would you? Would you? In fact, I'm going to put this one out there for game time because game time, who's out there burning up in the heat, 99 degrees, delivering mail, having a hard time breathing and stuff because he's got a deviated septum or septus or something, something in his nose that ain't right and so like, the heat is bothering him, okay? And then he didn't prepare for it, okay? I, I guess he wasn't a Boy Scout. I guess he wasn't a Boy Scout because the Scout motto is be prepared. And you got to be prepared, bro, when you're going to be walking 10, 12, 14 miles a day delivering the mail for all those ingrates that are inside in their air conditioning and stuff, you got to be ready for it. So I'm going to ask you game time because you said, you know, hit me up with something because last year you were bitch slapping me about Stephen Jones and stuff when I was actually happy that he was finally beginning to do something. And it turned out that he went back to being Stephen Jones. But be that as it may, be that as it may, would you game time Brian and Cowboys Nation take Justin Herbert over Dak Prescott? Simple question. Simple question. Would you take him? Would you rather have either of those two guys over Dak Prescott? Justin Herbert? Jalen Hurts? Some of you, I guarantee, will say, I'll take a ham sandwich without cheese over Dak Prescott because he sucks. Well, I got to say, one Cameron Newton, okay? Cameron Newton, by the way, Cam, you know you remember me because of my chocolate chip and my oatmeal raisin cookies. You wouldn't let me take a picture of them because I know you were scarfing them down, bro. 2012, United Way Symposium. I picked you up, and I had baked all those cookies for all the volunteers and stuff that were working there, and you were, you were out there in the hallway just throwing them. Yeah, okay, let me know if you need some more of those cookies, man. Let me know. I tell you what, you come on the show, I will send you lifetime supply. Because you're not playing football. You can eat as many as you want right now. But be that as it may, I'm sorry, I digress. He put out a lot of knowledge there today about a lot of people. See, people don't necessarily like listening to Cam Newton because he'll tell you about yourself. He will put it out there. It sounds a little cray-cray. But you don't. You got to listen to the message. Let's listen in for a few minutes here because it's pretty interesting. Because he's talking about CD and about not having CD. Crazy work. Yeah. Right. You already got your money. I think what yeah, he's no identified and what he's done has already told the organization, like, yo, y'all know what I am. Y'all know what I can do. Correct. 
I just need the pieces in place. Why doing it that way is so beneficial is okay. because he has a guy by the name of uh, Cordell DeMarcus Lamb. I don't <laughs> even know what the CD stand for, but I tried. And he going to need his money, too. Yeah, he going to need his money. Yeah. You dig? That's how you protect him. Okay. Pay that man. Because don't think CD ain't saw Justin Jefferson. Don't think don't CD think ain't thinking see. that uh, Jamar Chase. Don't think. It's all these things yeah. that you're trying to ah, 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 ah. I got to get me, me. Okay? You did, Because I'm seeing you get, get you, you, you. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, Dak. Dakavius. <laughs> That KB sign a um, large signing bonus okay, and a low salary. You don't need no more money because we just came from. So we already seen what he did, Peg, in 2021. Yep. Huh? Signed for four year, 160. Mm-hmm. What, 66 guaranteed? Yeah, I want to say 66 guaranteed. 126 guaranteed. Double that, silly man. Dumb ass boy. <laughs> 126 guaranteed with how much signing bonus? 66. So that's already telling me you don't need no money. Mm -hmm. You just need to worry about now mm -hmm. your legacy. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Cool. We ain't doing what we're doing for free. Okay. Especially when you know somebody else is making more than you and that you yeah. better than but that's just the competitor Ooh. in you. Don't get me started on that. But I'm going to okay, keep the man so thing, the man thing. Yeah, so that. at the end of the day, you get a large upfront money. Okay. Large upfront. Sign a bonus. Big and then keep your base bonus. salary low. So you can take care of guys like CeeDee Lamb. You can take care of guys like another number two receiver. Yep, it may yep, be yep. Uh, um, Michael Gallup. Um, it may be another. You got more money yeah. to play with for other players. The That's going to be your so important class. But they got a super squad already. Yeah, they do. But wait a minute. Hold on. But you, 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 this, this has to be a two-way street, though. Because, first of all, we got to have Jerry Jones want to go out. Or Okay, should I say Jerry does. You got to want Stephen Jones to say, hey, um, can't wait for Stephen Jones, number two, the second. Or, I mean, the, the Jerry Jones Jr. to want to do that. And I'm not sure that he does, even if he had the money to. But they, but they don't know to how to win when it counts. They don't That's know how true. to win yet. That I mean, I, for I've the last that. two to three years, I'm so tired of Skip Bayless talking about my Cowboys. You, you Sit tired your ass. <laughs> Like, they ain't did shit in the playoffs these last couple of years. Yeah. But also, too, this is the thing that I want to talk about because right. that is well and capable of making the money that Trevor Lawrence is and has garnered. Yes. Joe Burrow, mm, that's just mm -hmm. how yeah. game work. Jared Goff, that can make that type of money yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, Justin Herbert, he, yes. he, come on now. Yeah. Uh, Lamar Jackson, damn. Uh, Jalen Hurts, <laughs> yes. Because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only to my I'm not I'm, st I'm doubling down. Come on, there's only two down, game changers on this list, and we've already identified who that is: mm -hmm. Joe Shiesty okay. and Lamar Jackson. Now, mm -hmm. everybody else, I see Dak better than or can compete with any other ones. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna pay him that? You gotta pay. You gotta get me, me, me. Yeah. Yeah. What you think Dak looking like? Yeah. But I will tell Dak this: you gotta fucking win, bro. You got to win. Gotta it win it, man. Like, in the playoffs. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Second in MVP voting, that's cool, but it was a long second. Like, yeah. it didn't matter because <laughs> everybody knew Lamar who was who he Correct. was. I'm saying this, though. When are we going to start holding Mike McCarthy and damn Jerry Jones mm. oh. accountable? Because ain't this the reason why Aaron Rodgers wanted to leave? First place, or didn't he, didn't he get Mike McCarthy booted up out of, about suited it and booted up out of there? We don't know that though. Jerry Jones, same thing, bro. Bro, you got all this damn money, all this damn all access. Man, money. bring somebody in here that, that that know what they're doing. Well, if I was Jerry Jones, you know what I would have did? Mm -hmm. I would have had Bill Belichick, man. Hey, come here, man. What you need, man? Uh, hey, come help us. What about man? the people that said Mark when Mike won a Super Bowl before? He got so, so so we went back a little bit on that. So your thoughts, I want to know, would you rather have Jalen Hurts or Justin Herbert instead of Dak Prescott? Real question. I want a real answer. Not uh, any trolls, you know. Real question. I want a real answer. 
All right, we'll be definitely talking about this more tonight in about three hours and 50 minutes from now during our live stream. Peace out, good people and Eagle fans.